Marcus, what a finish. I mean, let's start with the overtime goal. Your line hadn't been on the ice. You and Jordan Greenway had been sitting for nearly the full five minutes, and then you jump on and make a play at the blue line as if you guys had been the go-to guys throughout the session. How, how is it that that works out? I mean, that, that, fir that first rush into the zone, you guys connect smoothly. Yeah, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, you, you see the, the clock kind of winding down, and, um, you know, you want to play offense in overtime, and, uh, been able to do it a couple times this season, so you get comfortable as the games go by. But uh, I mean, that was all greener. We just, you know, we try to get speed. We both swung and, and uh, got as much speed as we could. And, and then uh, Goose made a drop pass to me. I uh, just want to keep possession. Saw Greener coming behind me, so laid it behind him. And he had tons of speed going through and, and made a good wide play. And, and I just, you know, thought about driving the net. You know, there's not much time on the clock. So um, heck of a pass by Greener. That was all him. And I was able just to kind of push it in front of me. and think the goalie got kind of lost a little bit and then was able to kind of shoot it in. The overtime only possible because of yet another extra attacker goal. And I thought there was something interesting here. There's a whistle with about two and a half minutes to go. And rather than calling a timeout and going back to the same group, Dean Evison just said, I'm going to the second six on five group. You're a part of that. And, and you guys find a way to find the back of the net. And it's not the first time that's happened this year. How confident does that make a bench when you know that your coaching staff trusts you and are willing to lean on you even in the most important situations? It's awesome. I mean, that, that goes through the whole group. I mean, not just the guys that are out there. Um, everyone's, you know, counted on to, to, to do their job and to be put in uh, crucial situations and, and get the job done. So, um, you know, we, we practice it. We, we've done it a lot this year coming back on 6-on-5 and um, just really a lot of, you know, really comfortable with everyone out there. Everyone knows their roles. Everyone knows their positions. And, uh, the puck possession has been great when we're out there, so um, it's just something you know. I know you know you want the, the best players, you know the Creole, the Zuccarellos out there, but uh, when we're called upon it, we still have guys like you know Kevin Fiala was on our line there, and um, you know we're we guys that can make a make a play. So um, you know six and five, we're a really confident group. All along this season, watching it from the outside, we've looked and said it feels like there's something special with this team. We've watched the comebacks, watched the late heroics. How would you describe what's happening inside this room that's bleeding over onto the ice? Just our mentality. I honestly think that we just we don't care. You know, we don't care what the score is. We don't care what uh, happened that last shift. Um, we got a great mentality in that room, and I think everyone just cares. Cares for each other and and pulling in the right direction. So you know that that stuff's going to happen. And um, you know, you get comebacks. You get you just you get guys playing the right way, and um, everyone's clicking. It's a good group in there, and we're having fun. And and um, you know, it shows on the ice. Special way to cap a special day throughout the state of Minnesota, Hockey Day in Minnesota. You've been here now a couple of years. Has it surprised you how much the state embraces this day? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, we had the uh, outdoor game. Uh, I think it was Mankato and uh, St. Thomas playing. So just to see it and snowing, it, it's uh, it's cool just to see the whole, uh, the, you know, the state of Minnesota just really embrace this this awesome sport and, um, you know, really cherish it, cherish it and get outside and, we got the best fans in the league, I think, you know, that can brave the cold, and we saw it at the Winter Classic. So um, it's really cool to see all the things in the little towns around uh, the state and, um, you know, just stories from people. And, and uh, you know, it seems like we always have a great game on, on this day. So it's, it's always a lot of fun. And, I mean, our crowd was amazing tonight, too, just as an ep extra little, you know, pep in your step when you play a game when it's Hockey Day in Minnesota. Now this one's going to be etched into those memories for a long time. This will be a tough one to top. Congrats on the winner, and go enjoy it. Thank you. Appreciate it.